Hey everybody, it's Mitch here from the Board Game Barbecue. Uh, here today to talk to you about a little game called Hunted uh, Mining Colony 415. Uh, it's by uh, designer Gabe Barrett. And uh, it's a solo game primarily, but it can be played two players. Uh, you find yourself stranded in a mining colony in outer space. It's been attacked by aliens. Uh, and the game is about you fighting your way through all the aliens, making your way to the landing pad to escape from the planet and get away with your life. Uh, fail and you won't. So let's get to the table and take a look. So here we are at the table. Uh, I'll start off by saying this uh, lovely play mat is, does not come with a standard uh, box. This is an add-on extra that was uh, purchased through Kickstarter. So um, you won't get that with the standard box, but you do get a uh, player board. That's the player board that comes with the standard which is essentially just this replicated on the mat. So let's get into the setup. So first of all, we have the uh, Hunted deck. So that will go there. We then have the Location deck. That will go there. We've got our little reference card to help us out. We also start with a Pulse Rifle, which will go there. And that starts with three clips and four shots in each clip. Uh, on your health tracker you start with a big token there when your health is at six, five or four and a small token there when you get lower. <coughs> you start with six health and 20 time. You have all your tokens at the top of there that you'll need throughout the game and you take three aliens out of the deck <coughs> that have the star icon next to them and you get them ready. And that's it. That's your setup. We're ready to play. Now, in order to uh, pass a test or attack a creature, you have to use this method. You'll see there's this card here, which comes with an alien, and there's a target circle here on the top. It's double sided, so you have the standard side. You also have the hard side, which is a smaller target area. What you do is you place that into the lid of the box, like so. And then, in order to make a test, you toss the token in like so. Now, that example whoops, was a pass because it just touched that section there. So any anything touching the section will be considered a pass inside or on the line there anywhere. So first things first, on your turn, you can draw a card or rest. They're basically the two things that you can do each turn, draw a card or rest. Uh, resting basically wipes out whatever's in the row and then you can keep going. So we'll draw a card. So the first card we draw here is the motion detector. Uh, it says that with this card, if I can get this card, it allows me to draw three, uh, sorry, discard to discard to draw any three cards from the deck. If any of them are aliens, I can then discard them and place the rest of the non-alien cards in the row. Now, in order to do this, you'll see on this card, the anatomy of the card, this will tell you what type of card it is. Uh, with the hand up like that, it means it's an item. Over this side, you have an icon that's a bell. That means this item makes some noise. But this item will provide you a movement or a shoe, which is the symbol for movement. If that's what it will give you if you want to make use this card to purchase another card. And in the bottom right, you have two magnifying glasses or search icons that's what you need to pay if you want to purchase this card there's not much we can do with that at the moment we'll continue to draw our next turn okay so this is an alert card as signified by the asterisk uh, uh, sorry exclamation mark there at the top and it says on the card test fail and take two damage android attack so we have to perform a test now and in order to perform a test we take the token corresponding to where we are on the health track. So at the moment we're full health, so we take the big token. And that test failed. So what it says is, fail and take two damage. So we discard that card, but we have to take two damage. So we move our, to our health marker down to four from six. And that's the test completed. 
So then we move on to the next card. Okay, this next card is Corridor. It requires one foot to move. Sorry, one foot to purchase. And if we purchase it, it will get us a location card. Now you'll see that it also makes noise. It also has a uh, noise symbol at the top. So we now have two cards that make noise. Anytime you have two cards or more in your row that make noise, that means as soon as an alien appears, they, you have to fight it. You have to attack it because there's two noise. You've made too much noise and the alien will know where you are. Uh, this card also has a search token and a key. So if I had another search, I could potentially purchase that. Uh, but I do have a shoe over here, a movement icon, which means I can purchase this corridor card because it only needs one shoe to purchase. So I might do that. I'll discard this motion detector for the shoe up here, which means I can then use that to purchase this card and that will allow me to get a location. So I'll discard that card and I will turn over a location from the location deck. And that says greenhouse. It's a test. Succeed and gain one health, fail and take one damage. So again, I will take the token and I will toss that into the box. That's a pass. So that means I can gain one health. So I can take one back health, so I'll go from four to five. And that's that turn, so now I can move on. So I'll draw a card again, and that's giving me a corridor. Not much I can do with that, but it makes a noise. It doesn't give me any assets to buy other cards with, but it needs a shoe to purchase it. Next card, we have another corridor, which again, makes noise, but doesn't give me anything that I can purchase uh, this with. It gives me a key. If there was a key, uh, something that needed a key to purchase it, I could purchase that. But there's a concern now because we have two noise icons, which means if an alien comes out, we would have to fight the alien. Okay, now we've got a grenade. And a great grenade will let me purchase uh, that a corridor because it has a shoe. So I could try that. So what I would do, it would get me rid of two noise. So I'll put the cord, I'll put the shoe over there. That I purchase, use that to purchase that with. I'll remove this corridor from the game because I just purchased that, and that lets me draw another uh, location card here. And what that says is test, succeed to draw a location card, resolve it or discard it. Fail and lose two time. Okay. So I need to do another test. So when I, I'll toss my token in here again. And that's another fail. So it says fail, lose two time. So I lose two time there. And that's that. We move on. The next card here is Terence. Now Terence is a support person. If I can pay two search icons to get Terence, then he gives me access to a key. I can use, at any time later I can overturn Terence to use pay for a key icon. So getting Terence would be pretty cool. Okay, then a grenade. But that's, that's not so bad, because that's a magnifying glass, so that would if I get one more magnifying glass, I can purchase Terence. Actually, no, I'm wrong. I need a magnifying glass to purchase that grenade. So, there's a magnifying glass. I could use the corridor and another car with a magnifying glass to purchase Terence. I also have two noise here already on the grenade and on the corridor. So I really don't want to turn an alien over if I can help it. Oh, look, I got lucky. So I've turned over there another door and that has a magnifying glass on it. So I could take those two magnifying glasses and spin them. 
and that will allow me to purchase Terence. He'll go down here and he'll become an asset. Now at any point in time, I can use Terence to purchase something that was value that is key. Okay, and we'll continue on. Well actually, at this point in time, what I might do is, I've got two noises here and I haven't had any aliens in a while, so there's probably some aliens coming. So what I'll do is, I'll spend a time to rest or to hide, and then I can clear my row entirely. Next card. Whew, lucky. It was an alien. So that was good that I didn't have to uh, fight that alien. So right now I could uh, I can play on a little while, and I'll see what else comes out. Okay, that's a motion detector. I don't really want to use another time. This this That's got one noise on it, which means one more noise, I'm going to have to fight this alien, but that's not too bad because it's only a one alien, so I only need to hit it once. So what's this next one? Uh-oh. So this is Myra. So Myra's got a noise, to noise as well, which means we've alerted the alien. So when you alert the alien, and you have to fight an alien. This is done by making two noise, or if you have more than one alien in your row, then you fight the, the toughest alien that's in your row, and everything else gets discarded. So all that is removed, and we're going to have to fight this alien now. Now, when we do, you'll see here that he has a little uh, support person icon underneath this alien. So this alien will actually attack Terence first. So we need to attack the alien. How we do that is we take our pulse rifle, which is our weapon, and we choose how many times we're going to try and hit him. Now we've got four shots in each clip, so I'll just start with two and I'll see if we can hit with that. Okay, you wouldn't believe it, but that's failed. So what we have to do is, Terence is now removed from the game, and a alien with a star is added to the deck. So that's shuffled into the deck, so we'll just put that in the middle there. Now, sorry, those two tokens should have been removed because we shot those, we fired those tokens, they're not there anymore. So now we have two tokens left, so we'll try and hit the alien again. And that was a success. So, we'll take that alien, we just defeated it, he moves out to there. And then we would go and draw our next card. And basically that's how it goes guys, so you continue doing that until you work your way through the locations. Ultimately, this is what you're trying to do. Get your way through all the locations. And at the end of the all the locations, you'll come across, towards the end, a landing pad. The landing pad will be your last destination, and you have to fight the alien queen. If you defeat her, then you escape and win the game. So ultimately, you're trying to work your way through the deck, reveal as many locations as you can, they all have different uh, things that will happen to you when you reveal the locations. Defeat the aliens without losing enough health or time. Whenever you lose health down to zero, you lose. And whenever your time goes to zero, you also lose. You notice that when you get your health down to three or less, you can then it's a smaller token that you throw. So it's harder to actually land it in the circle. Um, so that's it, guys. Uh, that's the game. Hopefully that gives you some insight into how the game's played, and uh, I hope you enjoy that. Make sure you tune in to the uh, Board Game Barbecue podcast, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.